So it's playoff day and it's finally started to settle in that this is my last training session for Brescia. I look down at the shirts and I'm just grateful for this opportunity this whole entire season. It's been incredible and I'll forever love the club for the opportunity that they gave me. They're the team that scouted me and hopefully been getting promoted. So you saw me in training there. It's meaning a lot to me now. It's quite emotional knowing that these could be my last few games at Brescia. And it's been made clear over the last couple of episodes that our future is uncertain and that we could be moving to the Serie A potentially with a club in the name of Hellas Verona. However, we have a quarter-final playoff match here which gives us an opportunity to maybe get promoted and be part of this format going forward. However, I'm afraid something bad's happened because there was a massive break in between the end of the season and these playoff games and we've had no opportunity to train virtually. Obviously, we've trained in real life as you could see. We've not had the chance to train virtually. And as a result, our reputation has took a massive hit because this has happened. We are on the bench. We are on the bench after getting into the team of the season, which someone in the comments section mentioned. We only have 10 minutes to save our brusher career, both individually and as a football club in trying to get promoted. And it's just really unfortunate because usually we'd be starting this game. We've been arguably Brush's best player this season. But unfortunately, times are tough. And this part of the video game has still got its flaw. The, the rating shouldn't go down that much. There's no chance in hell. It's not my fault I couldn't train. The game needs to add training sessions during the break so I can maintain my rating. There was no, nothing I could do to, to increase my rating before this match. So unfortunately, we only have 10 minutes to save ourselves and save our Brescia career. Let's see what we can do. Here is the substitution then. Number 19 in Carraro coming off. We need a 6.5 match rating, a shot on target and some successful crosses. We don't have much time. One goal is what we need to try and keep our Brescia career alive. And will we even get a chance? Galazzi coming forward with the ball. Looks for us. Can we win the header? We do win the header brilliantly. Bugiar slips it through for Bertignoli. Bertignoli into us. We've got our back to goal here. We're going to try and get down the line and maybe create a ch chance. We get the ball into the box. Bianchi controls it, controls it nicely, but it's wide. It's an opportunity early. We are on the 84th minute. We might still have one more chance if we're lucky. Bolomo trying to get round Bertignoli. Something that's not really happened much this season, but he has done. We're going to have to try and support him. We've got back and got a foot in. No, we haven't. It's a chance. It's a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Andrew Nacho with the save. The rebound has gone into the back of the net. And it's 2-0 to Bari. And you'd like to think that is probably our Brescia career over because the manager's clearly found out that we might be making a move away. He's punished us by not putting us into the starting 11 for today in the most important match of the season. And not only have I been punished, the club's been punished. And even the manager's been punished for that decision. It's now 2-0 to Bari, and it looks like it's Adios Amigo from the Serie B for us, and Brescia are going to be staying here, which is a real shame. And here we go. It looks like it's going to be full-time here in Bari. Beasley wins it high. There might be one more chance there isn't. And that is over for us this season. Brescia will not be going up to Syria. We did make it difficult for ourselves, to be fair. We did have a good season overall coming 7th in the league, but unfortunately, it's not meant to be. And the future is uncertain for us. Because as you can see on my face, I'm gutted. I'm gutted to be leaving the club if it's going to happen, if my agent makes it happen. And I just wasn't really given the opportunity to try and, you know, be a hero. And I understand it from the gaffer. Obviously, rumours were spilt in the media. The press leaked it that I might be leaving the club. And unfortunately, it's, it's not paid off at all. This it's, it's really unfortunate for my career to potentially end like this. But what we're going to do now is go into the menus and I'll update you with any advances on my future. And here is a little Twitter update from myself. As you can see, it's a really bad tweet from me. And it's fair to say I've had a fallout with the gaffer and I've let it out and I've shown my age. I've shown immaturity as I've tweeted. Defeat against Bari made me realise I would rather be in a team that wins trophies. For a player to come out and say a statement like that online is not the right thing to do. I mean, it says it's got 6.1 million likes. I'm not buying that for a second. But the fact I've tweeted that shows we're frustrated. And I am frustrated. I'm frustrated in the gaffer dropping me. It wasn't the right thing to do at all. And let's just see what happens with the future. We might be going to Verona, we might be going elsewhere. Let's just see what happens in the transfer window. So here we go. You guys need to give me two seconds. Take that off. I don't know if you can still hear me, but let's see what the mic quality is like. Yellow it is. Here we go, mic back on.
There it is. Cool. Breaking news. Myself, JJ Charlton. We have completed a move to Hellas Verona. It's done. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. The agent's got it over the line. It's happened. We are out of pressure. Here we go. We're just making our self known. There's the gaffer. Hello, mate. How are you doing? It's a pleasure to be on board here. And there's my agent. He looks very smug because he knows he's getting a signing on bonus. <laughs> hey, you can't blame him. You can't blame him. There we are. We're just doing the medical. And as you can see, we're looking fit. We're looking ready to go. The gaffer's happy by the looks of things. And there it is with our shirt being presented to us. We will wear the number 45 as we did at Brescia. And I'm absolutely delighted to be here. It's a big moment for me. We're going to be playing in Serie A, I believe. Let me just double check. We are. We're in Serie A. Massive moment. And now it's time for my goodbye speech slash welcome speech to Verona. So please just bear with me. So it's done. We are no longer a Brescia player, okay? First of all, I want to say a massive thank you to the fans. You know, they've believed in me from since day one. They gave me an opportunity to really cement myself and be a hero here. And I'm, I'm just really grateful for them, to be honest with you. I'm grateful for all the support. I want to thank the manager, even though it ended on bad terms. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be in the first team. Thank you for scouting me when we were at grassroots football, when we scored that goal in the Saturday League Cup final. Thank you so much for coming to my game and, and scouting me and, and turning, it, turning me into the player that I am now. He's now made me into a Serie A first division player. So I'm really grateful to everything that he's done for me. Uh, it's just a shame how it all ended. You know, not playing me in that game, uh, the quarterfinal, I was, I was devastated. But, you know, that's football. These situations happen. And, yeah, I just want to thank my teammates, the staff, from the, the nutritionists to the doctors to the medics, the physios, uh, everyone associated with Brescia in terms of staff and, the, and my teammates. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for the accommodation. Thank you for the hospitality. Thank you for being amazing teammates on and off the pitch, for being great friends. Uh, and I really, really enjoy my, my time at Brescia. I've really adapted to Italy. I've started to learn a bit of the language. That's improving day by day. And I'm just so grateful for this opportunity to, to wear that iconic shirt and to cement myself into Brescia history uh, because I think we had a good season. In terms of Verona, hello Verona fans. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely delighted to be here, to be playing in Serie A for you guys. Hoping that I can adapt quickly to the changing division. I know it's going to be a lot harder compared to Serie B, but I'm hoping that I can make a really positive impact on the left-hand side and any position that the gaffer wants to play me in. So I'm excited to entertain the fans, to hopefully get you guys off your seats. I'm excited to work with the manager and um, I can't wait to meet all the teammates and, and the fans. There is a couple of things we're going to do now just to kind of get used to Verona and being part of Verona. I will say now there won't be any games now this episode. I apologise there was only one game in the episode and it was 10 minutes worth, but this is just getting set up for the Verona Serie A season, the most important season so far of this career mode. And what we're doing here is just getting everything set up and everything good to go. And obviously the transfer has happened and it's a big deal. And a lot of content has to be made around this transfer. So that's kind of what this episode's about. But what we are going to do is apply some skill points. We're not going to apply too many because I don't want it to be absolutely insane because we are currently a 75 rated player. I don't want to be stupid. I want to get myself up to maybe like a 76 or a 77 rated because obviously we've just been promoted to Serie B, uh, Serie A, sorry. So we can't be, you know, like a world, world beater. You know, we, we can only apply a few skill points here and there. So what we will apply is a finishing stat of some sort. Let's have a look, see if we can find one of, of some sort. So we've got a plus three there, we'll apply that. I'll give myself a little dribbling boost as well if we can find that dribbling anywhere. Uh, dribbling plus four. Okay, I, is it, okay, cool. That's good. Just a plus four is fine. We'll then go into defending. We'll give ourselves a little bit here. We'll go for a plus four there. Physicality. We'll go for a stamina boost. That's cool. And I think we'll apply a passing one as well. So we'll take crossing up to 78. And then a little pace boost if we can find it. There isn't one, I don't think. Let's just have a look to double check. Yep, here we go, there is. Okay, so we'll give ourselves a little boost of pace maybe to the acceleration or the sprint speed. We'll go with sprint speed or acceleration. I'll go with acceleration of plus three. So let's just come out of there and check whatever we are now. Okay, good, we're a 77 rated. We're a 77 rated player, which is fair. I think, guys, we deserve to apply those skill boosts after the season we had of dropping 11 goals and 10 assists. Really good return. So... 
that will be the card we use going into this season. If we do pick up form, we might apply some more skill points now that we're in the first division. So say we're doing really well in the top division, it, it would make sense to maybe get us up to like an 80 rated player or something. But I want to try and keep this as realistic as possible. So I feel like 77 right now going into a new Serie A season is, is perfect. So that's done. Happy days. What we're going to now do is look at our teammates' overalls, if we can find it. Obviously, the transfer window is just open, so there could be some manoeuvre. So we will review the transfer situation at the end of pre-season as well. But let's just see what we're going to be working with for this season for now. Let's have a look. So this is the only way I can really get hold of our squad. I didn't know how to, you know, the career mode like layout of like financial stats, uh, contract length, all the kind of things that you get on a manager career. I couldn't find that spreadsheet or layout or menu on player career. But I found this here. So we've got the overalls. So let's just see what we're working with here. And we can see what... Um, what competition we have in our positions as well. So we've got Mitrovic here, who's a 70 rated. We're already better than him, so he won't be a problem to, to try and get out of the team. We have Josh Sargent here from Norwich. I know who he is, so he might be a good threat for us. Suslov, I know of him, he's a good player. He looks like a good right back, to be fair. Duda, a seasoned Balkan international who is a really good professional. So I think that's a good player to be working with. Lazovic, he does play left mid, so he could be a bit of a threat at 72 rated for us in terms of minutes. Livramento, okay, fair enough, I've not heard of him. Magnani looks like a good centre half. Serdar, I've heard of him as a midfield player, that's good. And Harui looks okay too. Then we have, going into here, we have Gilerdi as a youngster, Silva. And they have a good players that stand out, or is this going to just be fringe players? We have Henri, I've heard of him as well. He's played for a few Serie A clubs. And I think that, okay, there's me, 77 rated, cool. So we are the highest rated player at Verona just. I think we're tied at 77 with someone else. But as you can see here, it's not the greatest of squads. We're now going to have a look at our objectives to see what we need to achieve, if it's going to be realistic or not. So we just need matches in the starting 11, that's cool. And in terms of contract objectives, okay, that's all we need. We just need to play in a third of the matches to get a new contract. Don't mind that at all. In terms of our pathway, we'll pick a target team at the next episode, or should we do it now? We'll do it now, I reckon. So we've got Bergamo. I think I'm going to set it to Newcastle, just because I'm a Newcastle fan. Are we going to be able to do this? England, Premier League. Let's see if we can get Newcastle as our target club. Let's see what we need if in terms of dribbling rate high, matches in starting 11, that's fine. Outside the box scored, finesse goals, win the League Cup. Okay, cool. that's going to be tough, but we will set it as our target club for now, I think. Uh, cool. All right, nice. So that's our target team, Newcastle United, as you can see by the background. So nice. I think we're all set up then for pre-season. I think we are set up for pre-season. So I'm going to round off the episode there then. So guys, a massive thank you for watching. Again, I apologize. There wasn't much gameplay in this episode, but as I, as I did say, we're setting everything up for next episode where we get into the new season fully with the pre-season matches. Okay. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this transfer, watching us set up the new campaign. And I can't wait to see you guys whilst we're playing Serie A football. It's going to be amazing, okay? If you did enjoy this episode and you're enjoying seeing the series so far, make sure you hit a like on this video. Consider subscribing as well. It's free and you can always change your mind. And don't forget to turn on your bell notifications too so you don't miss an episode and you can be first one to comment on an episode, okay? Awesome. I wish you guys the best. Enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you next time. War, two, yep. All the best.